Hello, everybody, and welcome to another live stream. My name is DC, and today we're talking all about staying motivated in cybersecurity and the IT industry as a whole. Now, this is a, a pretty interesting subject that I've, I've covered it before a few different times, especially with um, mention of discipline and just trying to stay on board with the things that you're trying to achieve. And for me, that is one of the most important things is actually setting those goals and then actually going out and trying to achieve those goals. Uh, by the way, this video will be published once it's been live. So make sure to smash like and uh, that will help it in the algorithm for anyone else looking for this kind of content. Anyway, as I was saying, staying motivated in IT and cybersecurity as an industry as a whole is actually quite hard. And it's one of those questions that does come to me fairly often because a lot of people find it quite difficult to keep going and to even if they're not quite in the industry yet, like they've just started studying or they've just finished studying, studying and they're looking for a job and uh, the recruiters just aren't getting back to you, for example, or you're being rejected in interviews or once you get a job, you find you're in an imposter syndrome type situation. And that's not easy. That's It's quite hard to, uh, I guess, keep pushing yourself on from those sort of situations, those hard moments. So this advice to you on staying motivated and keeping on going, and the answer is kind of in the, the line there, is to, to keep on going. But that's not really a solution on staying motivated. The answer to the question really comes down to discipline. Now, I've said this before a thousand million times before that uh, staying disciplined creates more motivation and setting goals is something that you would be disciplined with. So the way I work this out is I would set some short-term and long-term goals. My short-terms are usually things that are really easily achievable within the next week. My long-term goals are things from six to 12 months, for example. So in a short-term uh, goal, I would have you know really, really basic stuff, something that you can finish within the hour even, like just on that day, that's the kind of thing that you want to actually try and uh, achieve to be able to do in that short time. With your long-term goals, these are more the, the things that you would achieve from doing short-term goals. So your, your short-term goals would build up to completing one of the long-term goals. Now, staying disciplined and actually setting these things out in your calendar or uh, note-taking app or reminder, whatever it is that you use, is how I achieve, uh, I guess, a, a sense of discipline in this area. So I use a calendar myself and uh, I guess staying disciplined to stay motivated is the, the, the long answer here to the question. So when you're trying to stay motivated to keep on going, apart from setting goals, it is a massive mindset exercise. Um, now you can, you can set all the goals in the world that you want. You could try and do as much as you could to, to stay disciplined and that's fantastic. That's a really good approach. However, I think a lot of this does come down to mindset and um, really just trying your best. And I mean, you can't really blame yourself if you tried your best because you've, you've done the best you could to achieve whatever it is that you are, are trying to set out to achieve. The problem with this sort of industry is that egos do come into play and a lot of people do get put down by um, not so much even themselves, but other people who are projecting this um, high level of that they're really, really good at something or that they're amazing um, at this particular thing and, and that makes you feel not so great. And that's that's hard and that's very common in this industry because there are massive egos in IT as a whole, especially in cybersecurity, even more so, I would say, in software development. So that's that's another big side of the puzzle, really, and it's... It's not easy to overcome um, that either, to be completely honest. And I, I think a, a mindset, um, I guess, exercise 
that I've, I've I made an entire video on this, but it's essentially to focus on yourself and achieving your goals. So this is why I mentioned goals at the start of this stream is, is that setting these goals for yourself and then trying to achieve it is you focusing on you. You're doing the best you can do. And it, it goes full circle like this where you eventually have achieved whatever it is that you wanted to achieve. And that's great. That means you've succeeded. And people who are then projecting some sort of level of hate or something where they're saying, you know, that's that's bullshit. DC is, you know, he's doing this and this and this and so great. And it's it's not really great. The thing like anyone can do what anyone else does. I firmly believe that unless you're like a, a surgeon, for example, and you're, you know, I, I, I don't know why I pick surgeons, but um, I feel like if you're a surgeon, you, you obviously put in a lot of uh, time and skill into that thing. And that's the same with anything, really. However, with I feel like with IT that it, the secret to success is being able to prompt a search engine at the start anyway on how to achieve or solve a problem. That's that's just my point of view. And you can argue with that, yes or no. And I know a lot of people would disagree that a search engine is got not going to solve all of your problems. And that's absolutely correct. You need to actually have learned something as well. You need to have the skill there as well and the hunger to learn more about a particular topic to be good at it. But most of the jobs in IT are related to solving a problem that someone else just doesn't have time or doesn't really want to learn about. And that's perfectly fine. That's a service industry in a nutshell. And if you are able to solve those problems, you are able, you are better at prompting than someone else, then you will figure it out. So where this comes back to staying motivated is that if you are staying motivated in an industry to become better, to focus on yourself, be better at whatever it is in the industry, in the IT, cybersecurity, software industry that you're in, then you will achieve it if you focus on yourself. And that's that's basically the entire message that I wanted to portray in this live stream. Anyway, that's uh, that's all I really wanted to get out in this one. I'm also making this live stream to try out uh, this microphone. I just got a new cable with it, connected it to the iPad. I've put some crazy green screen stuff behind me because it's, it's fun, green text and an ASCII aquarium. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this very short and sweet live stream. If you did, please do smash like. Comment below if you have any questions, and I will see you all on the next video. Uh, some insight as well into what I'm going to be doing in the future with my videos. Originally, I was hoping to make lots and lots of short videos, um, but the algorithm has changed in a way on YouTube where it, uh, it promotes my short videos, which is great. But the monetization on them is so low that it, it costs more in my time than it does to get back. And I know that sounds bad, but on average, I would make $3 Australian for a normal video per day. Whereas with the YouTube shorts, I make maybe 20 cents in a day. So that's no fun. I don't like that. And um, I mean, yeah, I also put out a vote for people asking what kind of content do you like? And they said the actual videos. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing these live stream videos because it's easier to do just one take as a live stream. It's more fun like this. I get to have a conversation with the community if you guys are chatting. And um, I think for this one, I actually turned on uh, channel members only can talk during the live stream. So if anyone else has a question who isn't a live stream uh, or channel member, I should say, drop it in the comments below once this video goes live in a couple of minutes. And yeah, I'll answer those questions as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all on the next video.